Welcome to a new video. I want to show you how to set up these iFlight drones. This is a Evoke F5 DC. It's when you just need a lot of power and want to follow a snow water or just do landscape shots. Uh, that's like my go-to drone with a GoPro 10 on top. It's pretty powerful and just awesome. Then we got the Protect 25. It's much smaller and has a naked GoPro 10. You have to build the naked GoPro yourself, so it's not for everyone, but it's perfect to fly indoors. Uh, when I fly through my van, I use this drone and when I just want to go through my legs or through small gaps because it has this prop guards and it's pretty easy to fly so that's like perfect for indoors and if you don't want to build a naked GoPro you can just use this one it's a Protec 35 it's the same one but bigger carries a full-size GoPro and you can also fly indoors but it's just like a little bit more heavy now I want to show you how to set up these drones so we start by binding the drone to the Tango 2 first we turn on the controller and then we press the menu button for one second and here you can scroll down and press TBS agent light and then we go to Tango 2. Now we have to prepare the drone. First we have to open it at the bottom and here you can find the receiver and now we want to power on the drone so we just plug in the battery. Now you can see this light here and next to it there's a little button. We press it and then it starts blinking. Then we take the controller, press bind and press execute. Now we just have to wait for it to finish. It can take up to five minutes. When it's finished, we press OK and exit. And now your TBS is paired with your drone. Now we want to unplug the battery again because the drone gets really hot and we just want to leave it for five minutes and then we can continue. Next, we want to connect the DJI goggles to the drone. So first we power on the goggles. We press this button once and then press it again and hold it and it should power on, you can also hear it. And then we have to turn the goggles around. Next to the power input, there's this little button and we press it and it starts beeping. Now we connect the battery to the drone again. The video transmitter is in the middle and you can see the USB-C port and right next to it, there's a little button and you have to press it. Then it stops beeping and you can already see the image in the goggles, but we still have to activate the air unit. First, you have to download the DJI Assistant 2, the FPV edition. I will link it down in the description. Then you take a USB-C cable with this 90 degrees adapter and plug it into the USB-C port of the air unit. The air unit appears and you click on it. Then you can press activation. I cannot do it because I've done it already, but you can just press it and then it's step by step. And it will also upgrade your air unit, so it's really good. It can also take up to 10 minutes, so just leave it be. It will get really hot, but uh, it should be fine. When it's finished, we just unplug it again and also unplug the battery and let it be for five minutes just to let the air unit cool down again. We have to do the same process with the goggles. So we also plug in the goggles with the USB-C cable. We can also find it in the same program and then we also activate it. That's it for the air unit. Now you have to download Betaflight. I will also link it in the description. Now we need a mini USB cable. Let's see, we just plug it in and it should automatically connect if it if it does not you can also press connect here and now you can see uh, it also moves in the software looks pretty cool we start by clicking this receiver tab and the drone will probably spin around and uh, that's because this value is wrong just type the same value as i have here it's t a e r one two three four and then press save and it should be fine. Then you can also take your TBS and just move the sticks around and you can see how the drone should move in the proper order. If you want to set your sticks to like a different mode, you can also do this here. Next we go to the modes tab and here we can set how we arm the drone. So I always put the arm on this first button here. We just switch this to auto and then just press the button and it's automatically in there. Uh, we can then set the value, so if we press it, it's armed. Next, we want to set the angle mode, it's the same, set it to auto, I put it on this button here. Out of the box, I think this value is all the way over there, but we just want it over there, because we just want angle mode if we have this one pressed. Because you don't usually use angle mode, it's more like a safety feature. If you lose control of your drone, you can just press it and your drone will flip back to normal horizontal and hover there, but it will drift off anyway, so I don't use it that often. Next, we set up the beeper. Um, I always set my beeper to this button here. And we also want to set up the flip after crash. I set it to this button here. If you crash your drone and it's upside down, you can just press the switch and then you can move it around and flip it over again. 
but you should not do it unless you cannot reach your drone because you will probably destroy your propellers and also your motors. Then we have to press save and next we go to OSD. Here we, here we can set up what we see in the goggles. So I want to have my voltage here, but you can set it however you want. If you have a GPS, you should definitely check latitude and longitude and also home distance and home direction. And this home direction often saved my drone because when you are filming in the mountains and everything is white and you cannot find your way back home, it's this little arrow pointing your way to safety. So we press save again. That's it for beta flight. You can just disconnect the drone and unplug it. And what we want to do now is also set the custom OSD in your DJI goggles. So first we turn on the drone again. I will try to show you how it works. You can navigate with this switch here. You just have to press it one to enter the menu. Then you go to settings and go to display. And then you just set custom OSD to on. That's it. Then you can see everything here. That's everything you need to set up your drone. I would really recommend you try to train a little in a simulator before you go out and fly. I use liftoff and you also always have to check your local regulations and laws. I always have an app where I see if I'm allowed to fly and what I need. Uh, usually here in Europe, you need like a license and you also need an insurance for the drone, but it really depends where you are. So have fun flying and I really hope this was helpful.